हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टारगेट 100 इन मैथमेटिक्स बाय शिवेश कुमार सिंह एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी सम क्वेश्चंस फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 फॉर टर्म एंड एग्जामिनेशन रिवीजन फॉर ग्रेड नाइन एडवांस ओके लेट स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन बिफोर दिस सी माय डियर स्टूडेंट दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन ओके एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन बिकॉज बोथ द क्वेश्चन आर ऑलमोस्ट सेम ओके सो प्लीज गो थ्रू दैट वीडियो इफ यू इफ यू हैव मिस्ड इट बाई चांस ना क्वेश्चन कैन बी related with the congruency of the triangles okay so in this question we have to prove that if jk is equal to mk means these two sides are given equal and measure of angle n is equal to measure of angle l so what we have to prove we have to prove that triangle jk n is congruent to triangle mk l and see i have told you many many conditions for the congruency one of them was S A S or it was triple S or A A S something like that. Okay, so many things were there. So we'll see what we can apply here. Now you see, measure of angle N is equal to measure of angle M. It is given to us. Yes. Now what we can see else, measure of angle N K L will be equal to measure of angle M. K L. What I am talking about? I am talking about these two angles, and why they are equal? Because of vertical angle. Yes, because of vertical angles, they will be equal. And what else is given? J K side is equal to M K side. Okay, it is also given. So what we are? Which condition we are talking about? A A S. So using A A S criteria triangle J K N will be congruent to triangle M K L. Like this, we can do the question. Yes. Next question can be uh, D E is parallel to F G. So this sign means parallel. Okay. So D E is parallel to F G, and angle E is equal to angle G. These two angles are equal. so we have to prove that dfg is congruent to fde okay dfg where dfg okay this down triangle is congruent to up triangle no problem let's do it see what we can do here uh, measure of angle e is equal to measure of angle g because it is given okay now what next we can have see they are they are saying that these two lines are parallel so de is parallel to gf it means df is a transversal so transversal means we can apply the property of parallel lines and transversal so what about what do you think about these two angles what's the name of these two angles write in the comment measure of angle measure of angle what i write here e d f will be equal to measure of angle g f d why because they are alternate interior angles okay alternate interior angles that's what they will be equal and side d f will be equal to d f because this is the common side in both the triangles so again by using a a s so using a a s triangle d f g is congruent to triangle f d e okay like this you can solve this question also another question can be v is the midpoint of y w so v is the midpoint of this line y w it means these two sides will be equal so let's write it together so y v is equal to v w why because v is the midpoint or you can write by using midpoint theorem okay so b uh, v is the midpoint now next what <clears throat> uy is parallel to xw so this is parallel so again since we have two parallel lines and one transversal it means we can use the condition for alternate angle here also so measure of angle u will be equal to measure of angle x why because of alternate interior angle okay you will write complete not like this the way i am writing 
Now, another can be measure of angle Y, V, U. Y, V, U means this angle. Okay. So, this will be equal to what? Its opposite angle, this one. So, it is equal to measure of angle W, V, X. Why? Because of vertical angles. Okay. So, by using again, see what conditions we are, what condition we are using? A, A, S. Okay. So, using A, A, S criteria, triangle U, V, Y is congruent to triangle X, V, W. Okay. Like this, you can finish this question as well. Now, another question can be, Measure of, uh, sorry, measure of the side MS is equal to RQ. These two sides are equal. Very good. Now, MS is parallel to RQ also. That's okay. Now, we have to show that triangle MSP is congruent to triangle RQP. Let's, try, let's see how to do this. Uh, see, MS is equal to QR. This is given. Okay. Now, what next we can do? Next is... We have some criteria because no, nothing is given here. So, we can use anything. So, okay. So, they are parallel. So, this angle will be equal to this angle or here measurement will be equal to this measurement. Okay. Up to you. Whatever you want, you can write. So, I am taking this angle only. So, this is measure of angle M is equal to measure of angle R. Why is it so? Because they are parallel and it is a transversal. So, alternate interior angle. Okay. And another angle will be where? The same, this vertical opposite angle. Okay. So, measure of angle MPS will be equal to measure of angle uh, RPQ. Why? Because they are vertical angles. So, using which property here a a s okay so using a a s criteria triangle m s p is congruent to triangle r q p okay like this you can solve the question i am sure you understood these questions and practice some more questions from your book so that your exam can be very good okay and if you think that such videos will help you to increase your knowledge Please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends also. Thank you.